In this question, we have to calculate the charges on each of the four capacitors. Now, as I told you in earlier question that when a capacitor is connected to a DC source, then they will act as an open switch. That is, no current will flow through the capacitor. So, whatever the current is flowing out of the battery, let's say, I, it will be divided in these two branches but no current will be flowing through the capacitors that is this whole current will be diverted toward 1 ohm that will be transferred to 2 ohm and back over here and here similarly in this part the current that is coming downward will be diverted to 3 ohm and no current will flow through the capacitor so what I can say is this 1 ohm and 2 ohm are in series this 3 ohm and 3 ohm are in series so I can calculate directly the current that is flowing in each of the branch let this current is I1 this current be I2 so I have 1 ohm and 2 ohm in series let's say the equivalent of both of them is R equivalent dash that is 1 plus 2 that is 3 ohm so current I1 can be calculated by the formula V by R equivalent dash because the potential difference across the both point is 6 volt so I have 6 divided by 3 that is 2 ampere so 2 ampere is current going in the upper branch similarly to calculate the value of I2 we calculate R equivalent double dash that is 3 plus 3 comes out to be 6 ohm so I2 is equal to V divided by R equivalent double dash that comes out to be 6 divided by 6 that is 1 ampere I2 comes out to be 1 ampere now I have to calculate the potential drop across 1 ohm 2 ohm 3 ohm and 3 ohm so potential drop across 1 ohm is calculated by IR here I is R1 resistance is obviously 1 ohm so I have 2 into 1 that is 2 volt potential drop across 2 ohm is I1 into R that is again current is 2 into resistance is 2 that is 4 volt now I have the voltages drop across 1 ohm resistor this will be the potential drop across the capacitor 1 microfarad because both are in parallel so the potential difference across them will be also same so I will use the formula Q is equal to CV capacitance is 1 microfarad potential is 2 volt so charge on 1 microfarad comes out to be 2 microcoulomb here again I use the same formula that is to calculate the charge on 2 microfarad capacitor I have capacitance is 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 farad voltage drop is 4 volt so charge on 2 microfarad comes out to be 8 microcoulomb similarly I will calculate the potential drop across this 3 ohm and this 3 ohm resistor so potential drop across 3 ohm resistor is I2 into resistance that is 1 into 3 comes out to be 3 volt so the charge to, that have to calculate on C microfarad capacitor can be calculated by formula C into V C is given as 3 microfarad and potential is 3 volt so Q across 3 microfarad comes out to be 9 microcoulomb and to calculate the charge on 4 microfarad obviously 3 volt is dropped across the 3 ohm resistor remaining voltage will drop across another 3 volt resistor so the voltage drop across this 3 ohm resistor is also 3 volt so I will again use the formula Q is equal to CV the capacitance is 4 microfarad voltage is 3 volt which gives the answer as 12 microcoulomb that is our answer